Which is the Clutch YouTube channel. As you can see, it's the next installment of my Market Basket Truck Collection. And today we're looking at the Farm Valley Market Basket Milk Tanker Truck. It's a little weird that they did a tanker truck because they weren't, I don't think they were in the milk producing business. I think I think Farm Valley was a, was a store, seemed like a, seems like a store brand, an in-house brand. I'm not sure. Research from the internet says this is from the 80s. I'm going to say probably mid-80s. Could be earlier, could be later. I don't know. I'm not a press deal truck guy. I'm not a, I'm not a Nurtle guy. If anybody can give me any clues as to, you know, the act date of this truck or any information about it, that'd be cool. When, uh, first, we're going to take a look at the tanker portion. It's got the stick, it's stickers on both sides. It's, this is the uh, roadside. This is the passenger side, farm, the Farm Valley logo, the milk and the market, well, this market basket logo. And on the bottom, in the red stripe, more for your dollar, which is Market Basket slogan for a long time. It has on the wheels, it has embossed on them, Hurdle. And a code number, which is 114, uh, well, I can't even read that. But it's got chrome, chrome plastic hubs, hard plastic wheels. There's a code number on the bottom, if that'll help anybody identify anything about this, if it focuses, there we go. It's got the mud flap with the hurdle on the back. It's got the ladder to get you up on the top of the tanker truck. It has three, uh, four embossed open uh, loading hatches, or unloading hatches. And it's about, oh, I don't know. I didn't measure it. Let me get a tape, let me get a measure. While you take a look at the, take a look at the cab closer up. This cab has obviously been, it's, the cars, the trucks have been played with because the cab should have uh, chrome on the lights on top and the, and the horns. Uh, I got it off eBay quite a while ago, probably for about, probably no more than 30 bucks, shipping included, because I'm a frugal collector. It's got a white air diffuser. It's got the chrome grill. It's a cab over. Weird interior. If you can take a look, I don't know if you can see the interior, but it's a weird interior. It's brown. It's got the Demoulis Market Basket logo on the side, on both doors. It has what's left of the chrome on the stack, with no chrome left on the top here, but there's plenty of chrome on the bumpers and the grill. This is a plastic base, plastic interior. A little bit of metal in the, a little bit of metal in this guardrail on this rail here. Uh, it does not. Uh, it's a little bit of um, copyright information here in this uh, area here. Hurdle and uh, the hurdle, and I don't know if there's a copyright date. I don't see one if there is one because I'm blind. But it's hurdle made in America. It used to roll well. Did it just do something? Okay, the front wheels don't the front wheels apparently don't roll that well, but it's a shelf it's a shelf piece for me. With the rest of my market basket truck collection. It measures about from bumper to back 18 and a half inches, which I should probably have done that on camera. But I can't I can't do this because I'm not a good camera guy. Here we put it back and you can see that from bumper to back. It's about non non painted side. It's the bumper to back. It's about eighteen and a half inches right here. It's one of the larger scale trucks I have. I have one slightly larger that's completely plastic, which we will be looking at in the next installment of the Market Basket Truck Collection. So yeah, this is the uh, hurdle. I'm gonna say eighties because that's what the research says. Press steel truck. All pressed steel on the cab and the cab and the uh, tanker. Plastic, some plastic accoutrements. And uh, yeah, so uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch you on the next one. See ya.